But I gotta get it, this shit is a must See, I got a family and I got a girl I gotta look out for the people I love See, I got a buzz, but I need the bucks Without the money, they cook the judge As stupid it is, as stupid it does I need me a plug like I'm selling drugs I need me no hugs, I need me some help I cannot do this shit all by myself I got no one else, if you can relate You know how I felt, see, I gotta play The cards I was dealt, the money we chasing This is a race, if you on the way I go get the belt, I go get the strap I wanna I love that song. Go for. All right. And if you don't know who that is, it's from Black Ink Chicago. That plays on VH1. So, I'm checking in real quick. Um, what's today's weight? What's today's weight? 194.4. How fast it's coming off. Wow. Um, still drinking my tea. Try to feel better. The last two whole days, like, I've been really stomach sick. Real nauseated. I couldn't even take the pain pills or nothing. Like, I couldn't stomach anything. So, I was just drinking my water. I had my soups and stuff. But this ginger. It's the business. Okay, so just real quick checking. My weight is coming along nicely. Um... So far, my pants are a little looser, and my rings are falling off. My favorite skull ring. I can't wear it. It's going to go bye-bye. I think I'll just reorder it on Amazon and get my size when, you know, I'm a little smaller. Meanwhile, I can't wear my favorite ring. All right, guys. So, like I said, real quick, check in. Check that song out, Okay. By four. Um, it's called Help. By four. P H O R. Is it E? But whatever. Just look at look look. Listen to the song. It's really good. All right. Today's a good day. I see somebody calling me, but I'm ready to curse them out. So I don't think I want to answer my phone. People always be checking on me, not checking on me. So guess what? I'm in my feelings. I'm in fem mode. All right, I'm over it now. Um, so my mom gave me some workout info on exercise I could do. It's not gonna really be too strenuous on me. It'll work on my core for sure. Um, 20 bucks. I can afford that. 20 bucks. I can afford it. So I'm gonna buy that. Uh, meanwhile, I got my clear protein today. Premier clear protein. It's in the fridge. fridge. I'm, I'm getting cold. I got the 12 pack, 12 case. Can't remember what I paid for it, but whatever. I need the protein, so it's gonna be what it's gonna be. So when I went to the supermarket, I got some ginger, lemon ginger with tea. I got the ginger root itself. You can feel the 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 the, the zing and the kick in this. It's like a, I don't even know how to describe ginger. Y'all had to see me cutting it up to put it in this tea. Such a rookie. <laughs> but anything that helped me feel better because I was feeling really bad. Um, blood pressure's okay. I think my lower number's a little high. But I'm down to two of my medications, like I said. They took away two while I was in the hospital, and they kept me on two. So to be off of four pills is really awesome for me. I'll take it. Two is better than four. Is there anything else I have to update you guys with? That weight, though. Like, am I going to be 180 before I go see the doctor? Well, not 180, but like 180-something. Oh, my God. Like, whoa. That was fast. That was fast. Like... I'm disappearing that bad. Woo. You know, I'm sorry. You know my videos are a little bit more professional than this, and I usually give you a full body or whatever. But my son is in school, and there's no one here to record my videos for me. So I have to use a phone, and I have to just pull out like this for you. Because I look good, bitch. I look good. God, I love me. Oh, God, I love me. Welcome to my world. See, my eyes are glowing because I'm in my happy space, bitch. I am. Oh, I will tell you this, guys. As much. Oh, my cravings are horrible. Ah, uh, but don't laugh. But I want cucumber salad, like so, 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 so.
so bad. Like, I really want cucumber salad. And then, um, I've been craving Don't Laugh at Me. Clam chowder, um, clam chowder soup, broccoli and cheddar soup. Like my cravings are like crazy. I'm like, why am I craving broccoli and cheddar soup? I did have a dream of a hero. <laughs> I want a hoagie. I want a big ass hero, guys. Like I'm really just, I want a big sandwich. <laughs> Loaded with meat and cheese, lettuce and onions and mayo, and like I'm craving some really crazy shit. But well, we just gonna sip here, sip our tea. On the name of living, okay, guys. I mean, you gotta give some things to get some things. Okay, let me just tell you right now, I'm feeling some kind of way about McDonald's because, like, I'm watching on this TV and this new bacon on this fried cheese thing, it came at a really bad time. It couldn't come before I had my stuff done, like, so it's hurting me to watch TV right now. I usually watch my, um, fire stick, so it's funny that I'm not. I'm actually watching, um, TV, so I get a lot of commercials watching TV and it's teasing me. I'm not even a McDonald's fan like that, but that burger and that bacon is looking real good right now. I know in due time, with some real self-control, I can treat myself maybe a year from now or so. I don't know how long it's going to take where I can actually eat normal food again. And I know not to abuse it. And to remember that this new lifestyle is just that a lifestyle. There's no going back. What's done is done. I can't get my, my stomach back. I can't fix whatever they did to my colon. Like, whatever's done is done. It's permanent. It's not a band where you can adjust and readjust and do this. It's permanent. So... Whether I wanted to accept it or not is a whole other story. I don't have a choice but to accept it because it's done. Um, I guess in time I'll be okay, and in time I'll be able to treat myself here and there when I'm having a moment, but never to go back to the way I was before, never to actually like be that person that caused me to actually be here to begin with. It's the whole point of this. And I really want to be strong and live by that. And I just want to be a success story. And I just really want to be able to say 10 years from now, hey, I had this procedure done. And guess what? I'm still this small. And I'm still this healthy. And I'm still this okay. Like, I really want it to be worth it. I don't want to feel like this wasn't worth it. Because how do you give up such a very, 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 very permanent part of your body and alter it and don't succeed from it like you just I, I like I feel like failing is not an option failing is not an option I know it's easier said than done um I've been overweight for so many years and up and down with the yo-yo diets and but it's done I understand that it's done and I will make my sacrifice worthwhile and I have years to prove that to you guys so Peace, peace, yo.